the AppRight CLI just got some major improvements in the 1.6 release, making the new and improved CLI easier to use and more powerful than ever. So in this video, what I wanna do is walk you through some of these changes and show you how to use it. Before we get into these changes, let's talk about what the CLI is for those of you that aren't familiar with it yet. So the CLI is a powerful tool that allows you to interact with your AppRight backend. So it's just another way to connect and modify and make changes. And you can do all of this from your terminal. So you can create storage buckets, modify collections, and even create functions and deploy them all from the terminal. And this is a powerful way to actually interact with the backend and provide more flexibility when managing projects and different environments. In the AppRite 1.6 release, we've made the CLI easier to use with the addition of features like hints, which make the CLI much more intuitive to use, as well as a reimagined workflow and new commands, giving you more control over your backend. Okay, so now we're gonna jump in and actually use the CLI, and I'm gonna demo a few things for you by connecting to a project, pulling some changes, pushing some changes, and just going through some of the features one by one. So the first thing is, before you can use a CLI, you wanna make sure to install it. So I'm just gonna do npm install dash g appwrite dash CLI. So if you haven't run this, go ahead and run this. This will run an installation for you. So once you're connected to it, I already have a project here on AppRite Cloud. So I just set this up here. It's an empty project with a database and a collection. And we're gonna go through this and actually pull some data down here and modify it. So we have a collection with some attributes. This is gonna be our demo. So just make sure to have something set up. So with this, we just wanna go ahead and run AppRite login. And this is gonna allow us to log into an account. So I can actually log in between multiple accounts before. And this is something before 1.6 that you couldn't do. If you logged into an account, you'd be logged out of other ones. Now you can actually log into multiple accounts and switch between them. So we're logging into our first account. We're gonna click login. And I'm gonna specify my email, enter my password here. Okay, so now we're logged in. So here we see these hints right here. This actually tells me what I can do in the next step. This is something that's gonna be really neat and makes this easier to use. Now, this is a command right here that I wanna show you that can actually allow you to figure out who you're logged in as. So I can run AppRite, who am I, like that. And this is gonna tell me that I'm logged in right here. This is the endpoint that I'm connected to. So I need to move this over right here. If I can actually create some space. So that's the endpoint. This is the email that I'm using and this is the user that I'm signed in with. So that's a new addition. Now from here, I wanna connect to an actual project. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll run AppRite init and I'm gonna do project here. And this is gonna allow me to either create a new project or link up to an existing one. So what I'm gonna do is link up to this project right here. And this is called my app. So we're gonna connect to it and make some changes. So we'll hit enter right there. This is gonna allow me to select whether I wanna go to this personal projects organization or tutorials. So I can select the organization and I'm gonna start with my app here. So we'll click on that. And now I have successfully linked up to this. And in theory, I can pull all the resources. So let's just hit no for now. So we'll hit N and let's go ahead and actually initialize a new service. So when we ran AppRite init project, what this did is this created an AppRite.json file, which holds the configuration settings for this specific project. And this is local configuration. So any changes I make to this, we can go ahead and push that up to this console right here and the changes will be reflected here. So before I make a change to this profiles collection, I'm gonna create a new collection called post, and I wanna show you how to do that. So in order to make this collection in this database right here, so we have a database called development here. So we wanna add a collection here, and in order to do that, we're gonna run app right pull, and we'll hit enter, and I'm gonna pull down the collection settings from the remote repository. So we're gonna go ahead and click enter, and we're gonna say we want all the settings from the development database, so we just saw that in our console, and here is the settings for that specific collection. So we pull down the database, we see that the database is enabled, and here we see the collection settings with the permissions, and everything is in here. So. Right now, we only have one collection, so let's go ahead and add a second. So we'll run AppRite init, and we'll hit enter, and we're gonna say we wanna initialize a new collection. We're gonna add this to an existing database, and we're gonna add this to the development database. 
and we're gonna call this one post here. So we're gonna let it generate a unique ID. Let's see, enable document level security. Uh, let's just leave that as null or no, it doesn't matter right now. So here we go, we just ran that command and our hint tells us that we need to push this change. So if we look from if we look through this file right here, the appright.json file, inside of collection, we have our first collection and now we should see post right here. So here we go, we have the IDs, the database ID, the collection ID, and we have no attributes here. So in my console, I don't see this yet. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clear this. Then we'll run appright push, and we wanna push these changes, and this is gonna generate the collection. So we're just gonna say collections right here. This is the specific change we wanna push, and we're gonna select the post collection. So we're gonna run this, and once this is complete, it's showing me the deployment process here. It says we pushed one collection, and let's go ahead and refresh it, and let's see. And here we go. So we see the post collection along with the profiles collection. So in this profiles collection, uh, let's modify something. So let's modify an attribute. So let's say we want to change this follower count. So if we go to our followers, we have a max followers of 10,000. And let's change this to some kind of high number. So we've already pulled those collection settings. So let's modify the follower account right here. So we'll go into, let's see, profiles here. Follower count, let's change this to 99999. Let's just go really high with this. And for a default value, let's set that to zero. Then we can run appright push. And we're gonna push this collection right here. We'll select profiles now, hit space to select that, enter. And this right here tells me that we made some changes to our attributes right here. And we modified the max count here and the default. So we wanna confirm that by typing yes, and that's gonna push those changes. And let's go ahead and check this out. So now if I refresh profiles here, let's go into the attributes. Let's go into edit. Here we go, we have a min of zero and a max of nine, 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 nine. So really high number. <laughs> and we have a default value. So that's how we can make changes to specific collections and how we can actually add new collections. So if you ever make any changes from your console as you're also working locally on your project, you can pull down any of the latest settings as well. So right now, if we go into this appright.json file within our profiles collection, we can see that we don't have any permissions. So let's say, we decided to go into my profiles collection here and we want to modify some of these permissions. So we're going to go in here and we'll just say all users can read and create a profile here. So we'll hit update and we modified some of those permissions and we want to make sure those local changes are reflected here. So we don't just want to pull down a collection. We want to pull down the latest changes. So within my permissions array right here, let's run app right pull and we'll select our collection. And this is gonna pull down all the collections from the development database. And all that does right there is sync up my permissions. And here we go. Now we can see any changes we just made remotely down inside of our local file. So it's pretty cool to actually sync that up. So that does it for our AppRite CLI product tour. I hope you learned a bunch. Leave me feedback down in the comment section and I'll see you all in the next video.